Good morning, church. My name is Lebohang, and I reside in Freedom Park. I have three testimony. I am here to shame the devil and to glorify God. The first testimony goes like this. Um, I was working in Sentin, and I wanted a transfer to Omonde because I wanted to be closer to church. So I got a transfer on 2020 January. And then when I reached the school, they told me that because of its COVID-19, we have to reduce your salary. I was very unhappy. I was very sad. I was so confused. But you know what? Because I'm a child of Shakaina, I knew that I'm in the solution center and God will make something. So the first thing that I did was to sow a seed. I sowed my seed and remember, I was not able to come to church. All the churches were closed, but I had to use my faith to sow a seed online. So I sowed a seed and I said, God, Nothing is impossible with you. You will make a way. And indeed, two weeks down the line after my seat, the car insurance called me and said, your, car, your insurance installment is reduced. That was the first testimony. The second one, the, the car company called me and said, your car installment is reduced. Amen. People of God, can you clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> Ma'am, if you could show us, what encouraged you to sow your seed? Um, men of God always tell us that when you sow a seed, you are saying to God, make it possible, make it a done deal. Amen. People, can you clap for Jesus? <laughs> you can continue the testimony. So um, the devil was shamed because that salary that was reduced, God was able to match it up to make sure that I still pay my bill irrespective of the salary reduction. So um, I thank God for that, people of God. My second testimony goes like this. Um, as you know, 2019, I came here to testify that all the university was rejecting me. But men of God said, himself that this year I'm going to complete my degree. I grabbed that word. I said, God, that is my testimony. After men of God said that on Sunday, on Monday I applied in a certain university and I was accepted. Amen. So um, this year it's my final year of the university. And the devil was trying to bring confusion. But you know what? I'm the daughter of Shakaina. I am not afraid of anything. So um, I was unable to pay my fees last year. Um, on June, I was, you know, people of God, I was so hopeless. But because of, I was, you know, coming to church and um, connecting online, I was encouraged by the message that the man of God preached and Pastor Spiwe and you know, um, on June, I couldn't pay for my fees for the whole of June until all the way to December. And you know how the universities are so strict. You cannot be registered for the following year until you pay all your fees. But you know what? I knew this was my test. That's why God was testing me. He wanted me to come and stand here and testify. So, uh, people of God, I went to a certain women's conference on August. I was an MC day, and I ushered this certain woman of God. I ushered her to her car. I treated her very well, and she said to me, wow, I love the way you are treating people. What's your name? I said, my name is Lebohang. She said, please give me your numbers. She took my numbers, and then she left. And then on December, as you know, I have outstanding fees. Um, the first thing that I thought to do was to sow a seed. So I sowed a seed, and then after sowing a seed, I decided to call the university. I called the university, but first before I called, I used normal mother honey to anoint my tongue. So 
So I called the head of finance in the university. I said to her, um, um, I am going to pay your money, but I'm not sure when. She said, no, I cannot um, open for you to see your results because you haven't paid. I said, but I promise I will pay you. And then as I was speaking to her, I was meditating in my heart. I said, God, you said when I use no more hara, there will be no mara. So let this mara go away. So then later on, she changed her mind. She said, okay, I will open the results for you. But you must know this is against the university police. Amen. So, ma'am, you're telling us that the university does not normally show people results without paying their outstanding fees. But because of applying your medium in faith, they showed you your results. Yes, they showed me my results. So, she opened for me to view my results. And then that was another testimony because remember, she said it's against the university policy. But she did. God has shown her that she's it's against the university policy. It's the God of Shekinah. Amen. People of God, can you clap for Jesus? You can go on to your next testimony. So, um, people of God, God knew that this was my final year and if I don't pay a registration fee, they won't accept me to complete the final year. So, this lady, exactly on the 5th of February this year, she paid money into my account. Amen. People of God, can you clap for Jesus? So, ma'am, you're saying you had no contact with the lady, you are not related to her, but she did pay your fees on the 5th. Yes, I'm not related to her. There's no relation. So, she paid the exact amount that the university requires for registration. Amen. The power of prayer and faith. People of God, it is important to pray for your divine helpers to locate you. Amen. You can continue. So uh, she paid and I was able to register. And then it continued. So this year, again on July, um, I sold a seat to God because I knew that um, I have an outstanding fees, but the university still accept me even though I'm owing them like money from last year and money from this year. You can imagine how much I'm owing the university. But I prayed and I saw a seat again. I said, God, I want them to register me again. So I sold a seat and then that seat that I sold is that in my class. So there are two teachers. So one of the teachers was going on maternity leave. So I wanted to work double to get the double salary. So they keep on employing people. People come, they run away two weeks. People work for three weeks, they run away. And the principal and the um, HOT end up saying, no, um, we decided that we will give you this double salary job. And then they gave it to me. Amen, amen. So maybe you saying, People were employed, but they did not last for long until they had employed you. Yes. Amen. So people could not sit on that seat because the Lord has re had reserved it for you. May you continue your testimony. Yes. So everything happened at that specific time because of I was able to pay for half of my fees on July and I was registered for the final year, finally. Amen. People... People of God, it is important to have faith. As we have heard, ma'am, she said, everything she did, she did it in faith. She applied her mediums in faith. She sowed her seed in faith and she prayed. So people of God, here we see the importance of faith and prayer. For the Lord needs our faith to operate in our lives. Amen. Ma'am, if you could sh share with us how you feel seeing that the Lord has done miracles in your life. I just want to say, um, I'm feeling so happy, especially when you are a young person. Maybe your parents can't afford to pay for you. Please stay in faith. So I see God will make a way for you. Amen. I have a last testimony. And this one is where man of God says, um, sh uh, he's praying for students. So all the time man of God prays for students. I come here in front and I connect by faith. And then all the time before my results come, I saw my seed continually to say, God, I want a distinction in this subject. I want a distinction in that subject. 
Amen. People of God, can you clap for Jesus? So Mammy saying, when the man of God prayed for the people and you received in faith and indeed you got your distinctions. Yes. Amen. The power of faith. We see again the power of faith, people of God. May you share with us a word of advice. My word of advice is that when you come to Shakana, come with an open heart because Shakana is just not any church. It's the presence of God and there is a solution for you. No matter when the solution will come, but surely you shall testify one day. Amen.